All right guys, welcome to day three of the quest for the Cheater Bowl. It is, um, I think, ending the end of April, so shed hunting's been going for a while, but I've only had two days out looking for What? What was that? Six point. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, pretty big one? What the pretty good for around here. No cheaters. Got a picture of them. Wow, that's awesome. Do uh, <laughs> is it right in the bottom? No, I just came up the bottom quite a ways and then following tracks. And then where, where tracks kind of look like they've been coming up and down to get to the bottom from the side you're on, I followed a track up and there it is, times down. Alright, follow the tracks and find the other side. They're probably uphill from it. I'm on tracks right now too, so. Alright, that's what I was thinking, so I'll start looking uphill from here. Alright. <laughs> okay. Wow, guys, that is crazy stuff. <laughs> we just started our hike, pretty much. Um, we hiked up to a glassing point, glass where I seen seven bulls hanging out this winter and um, seen two of them were shed bulls uh, so we started our hike up and uh, start the first uh, little video for the vlog and dad runs into a brown so that was him on the radio he is just down um, in the bottom from me and we could see where the bulls have been actually dropping in elevation not going up with the snow because um, it's been pretty hot it got hot quick so they're actually going down in elevation to be by water uh, to go to that at night so the sheds are still really low actually we're thinking and uh, it was proven right there so gonna I'm on some elk tracks here I'm gonna keep following them up through this thick 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 oak brush and then uh, hopefully get where they're bedding usually for the day and uh, maybe find the cheater bull quest is on boom on the on the board um yes so i came up and to where i said seen one of the bedded bulls uh he was bedded on this bench and there's some good elk sign don't know how well it'll turn up here but you got a pretty good elk trail that's going through this thick stuff um and i just decided to follow it and finally looked down and could see a little bit of something shining it zooms slow, but I think you could start to see it right there, glistening in the in the sun. Is a few points. Looks like a pretty nice six point. So let's go ahead, down and pick it up. It's a right side, and my dad had a left side. So maybe it's a match. Maybe there's two other antlers floating around. But gosh, I couldn't. I wouldn't even imagine an elk being here. I mean, look how thick this is, guys. And that's why so many of them go unnoticed or unfound because of this uh, thick crap they live in but look at that that's a pretty pretty nice bowl six point brown heck yeah um, I'm gonna pick him up kind of sounds like the match based on how my dad described his side but we'll pick him up do some loops and then continue on with the day needed that bad i haven't had a uh, shed that pops up quick in the hike for a long time they've all came right at the end so it's kind of nice to have a shed right off the bat maybe find a couple more hopefully <laughs> <laughs> it is super steep and super thick in here, but oh, yeah, feels nice to finally pick one up. So, let's see if I can get locked in. So, the bulls up here don't get too awfully big, but that's a pretty good bull for, for this area. Looks like he's been on the ground for 
probably two weeks, I'd say, two weeks on the ground. Nice little little backs, but then cool fronts. Definitely is a bull that I've seen and hunted this throughout the uh, the extended hunt up here. But there it is on the board. Hopefully it's the match to dad's and then we can continue on. Good day so far. All right, just met up with met up with dad and we have confirmed it's a match set. So I found the right side, he found the left side and it's also confirmed that it's one of the bulls that I was watching up here in the in the winter. And uh I didn't have my scope because the it was in the shop getting fixed, but he's pretty cool. Check this out. He's got good fronts. Pretty long for up here. Medium thirds, but those are actually closer to bigger thirds for this area. And then he's got cool back forks, how they they slick back. You can really see it on this on this side view. That's what made me recognize him right off the bat. And um, he was he wasn't far from where I originally seen him, just uh, down half mile in elevation, but right on the path they always take. So pretty cool. Too bad we didn't have pictures of him, but we got his sheds. Now uh, see if we could turn up his buddies. I guess it's that time of year you gotta start watching where you're stepping. Look at this snake, guys. Probably like three and a half feet long. Maybe four if he's stretched out. He's alive, he's trying to warm up though. Like you can see, he's not, he doesn't have much uh, blood flow going, it's a little cold out. His tongue's sticking out. He's smelling around. Got his head up. Snakes are definitely my least favorite. Um, thing to <laughs> to find in the mountains whether it's a freaking garter snake or a gopher snake like this one looks like it is or heaven forbid freaking one with a rattle on it because I don't do that <laughs> I don't do that stuff this was crazy enough for me so I'm like going around him even though he can't even move because he's so cold cool though pretty cool but yep yeah. so yeah keep an eye out I guess now because it looks like they're wanting to come out all right day is pretty much over started off super hot with blasting up a couple shed bowls and then um, my dad and I find in this set oh dang is there only one no they're both there should know better the XO pack first day using it though um, I don't have the horn hauler accessory on there, um, but I, I will be getting it. But just the pack itself held these sheds way nice. And I've used a SJK my whole life, and those are good packs. They're heavier, um, but cheaper, uh, and they definitely can hold the load. I've definitely carried a number of sheds out with the with the Slumberjack, but now that we're doing a Warrior Field, we got Warrior Field Hunt going. Uh, now we're going to be partnering up and doing business with XO, repping their gear because it is definitely, it is definitely top notch. It's lightweight, it's comfortable, I haven't had any hot spots or anything. They come fitted to you uh, based on your size more so and uh, lots of accessories. Can't wait to get the horn hauler one to try out. But started off hot and just ended up getting this set. Thought we were going to have pull a few more out but kind of hard to have more than three find more than three sheds uh on this over the counter unit so i'm gonna head down get to the get to the truck dad's probably gonna have to pick me up somewhere because i came down where the truck isn't so search continues did find one bowl that we were watching though so that's always a plus and uh hopefully we can find this big bugger stay tuned